Hello everyone, I am super excited because we're here at a very new community at Delamar by Pote Homes and as you can see here I'm on this model it's 4,220 square feet this is a huge house as you can see three stories high and let me show you quickly the neighborhood here so this is what you are seeing right now lots of development here in the southwest area of Las Vegas about 20 minutes or 25 minutes away from the strip and I'm super excited for us guys to tour this together because I've never seen this uh, before so it's pretty brand new community they are releasing about 10 lots a month so it's in high demand right now there are about 100 lots available for release but of course they are releasing those at really you know gradually about 10 a month so 10 10 uh, 10 lots a month so let's take a look at this beautiful home all right guys so we are here Pulte Homes Pulte Homes white pine model 4220 square feet and they have three car garage this starts at 789880 and does that that doesn't include the upgrade so you have to prepare for a lot of upgrades look at this railing guys this is what i like it's very modern yeah we're gonna go up let me show you the uh community there Ooh, i love this stonework here guys look at that very modern so let's check out this amazing home this is a lot of home guys 4220 square feet and they said that the uh, upgrades is about 15 to 20 percent of the base price and lot premiums are from twenty thousand to forty thousand dollars hoa of about forty dollars oh my goodness this is gracious great balls of beauty so let's take a look at it. let's dig into this because this is a lot of home a lot of square footage 4220 square feet so this fireplace here is huge literally very very large and if i have to do this i will have to extend this uh brick there as you can see there this brick here i will have to extend it all the way there to the ceiling so that it makes a dramatic impact but that's just me i want big things look at this guys very open and it's pretty quiet inside because a while ago when we were outside we can hear the noise of the car but when you're inside already you can't really hear anything it's very very quiet all right so this is it and let's try opening the balcony here let's see if we can open it let's see here It looks to me that we may have to remove this thing here. I don't know if this is a Las Vegas thing, guys, that one. Because in Maryland, we don't have that thing. It looks to me that we can go out. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Pulte Homes, for allowing us to get to this balcony look at this guys you can actually have your dance party here do your yoga here it's a huge space 
look at this and then you have an, a side entrance there as well so this is something that I really like about Pulte Homes they make huge balconies all right we're going back to the home now it's see how quiet it is when you enter the house a while ago we were um, you can hear the noise of the cars but right now we're pretty it's pretty quiet all right so we're gonna go now to this area here look at this wow right it's a huge space. This is a total of 4,220 square feet. And they have this mini bar area here. And then you have your dining area there. These are huge windows here. See how those are the lots that we have so far here. And let's take a look at this counter it's a, a little of a gray countertop and then they combine this with another color there these are huge cabinets and i like this one too the vent looks really very very modern all right so this is the main area guys living room really nice closet i'm sorry oops this is huge look at that you can walk here and hide from your guests if you don't want them to see you when they enter your house you can hide on your uh on that uh uh pantry right but this is how it looks like guys pulte homes here at Delamar. Okay, so we're gonna go now to the upper area, but let's check out what's in here because I, I think there's something here that I didn't see yet. Okay, you have your, hello guys, and you have your uh, half bath here, nice that is tucked away from the main area, and the laundry is here. This is a huge space, it's almost like a bedroom here, guys. And these windows are huge. Look how big it is. Could be a, a, bed, a mini bedroom. All right. Let me show you something. Look at that lighting there. Makes a lot of impact. All right. So this is the first floor. Let's go first to the upper lever level before we go to the lowest level. I like the carpet that they have here it's pretty good it looks like it's from a hotel but i would definitely upgrade this into a 100 percent waterproof vinyl plank and yeah, look at this so nice the railing that is the uh, fourth floor guys but we're gonna check that out later because i wanted to see first this one all right what's in here Let's go to the left. I am guessing this is the master, right? But before that, let's check this out. Oh, there's another closet area here. I'm guessing this is the, the owner's because it's pretty huge. I love the openness of this one. It is pretty dark on the video, but when you go here in person, the light is so bright because of this huge windows there. And then, if this is not going to be blocked, you still have the view of the mountains. So this is your owner's bedroom. All right, so let's check out the owner's bathroom. I am now seeing a nice shower there, but let's take a look at this side. This is your toilet area with that window there. And then on the right side is a huge 
walk-in closet. If I have to upgrade this, I would definitely choose a nice cabinetry here with, a, with really nice LED lighting. Because if you can afford this over 700,000 uh, home, then you better upgrade your uh, closet with really nice cabinetry. And this is um, this is their counter here. I would definitely upgrade this a little bit. This is already upgraded, I believe, but um, I would choose a different counter with a little bit of a grain. Hey guys, so that is your dual sink there. And then let's check out this one. Ooh, you know what guys, I have this in my previous home at Maryland. I used this flooring in the past and it's very, very nice flooring because of the design. And they have upgraded this. They did an accent wall here of black, but I will definitely change this to a much lighter color if I have to do it. But overall, this is a pretty good size owner's bathroom. Let's check what's in here. Oh, leave-in closet. All right. So that's your master, or sorry, owner's bathroom. Pretty good size owner's bathroom there. Now we're going to go to the other bedrooms. There's a lot to see guys, so please bear with me. This video is going to be longer than usual because it's 4,220 square feet total to tour right now. So this is a huge, right? It's not normal, meaning larger than the usual secondary closet that I've seen so far. But this is a really nice stage secondary bedroom with that camera there right if your child is going to be a photographer in the future you better have some cameras there for inspiration see how the artworks are there so that's your secondary bedroom guys and we're going to check out this secondary bathroom dual vanity sink is always nice blue and large windows for sure and then you have this um, bath lab for the secondary bedroom and then uh, yes you have to wash your hands we're still in the pandemic and of course you have to brush your feet so that you can avoid the cavities all right so that's your secondary bedroom we're going to take a look on this, sorry, secondary bathroom. Let's take a look at this area here. Nice large linen closet. Another bedroom here. I can see this is for your daughter because it's staged as if a lady is going to be here. Look at the fur. So yeah, so this I think is for your daughter and your daughter would love to have this kind of walk-in closet here right it's huge or above normal above uh, larger than the usual closet that I've seen so far and look at your windows guys this is technically very very large you can see the entire southwest area in your window here <laughs> So that's how huge it is but let's take a look one more time on this well staged um, secondary bedroom I like what they did here look at this different vertical lines of gray colors all right so that's the other bedroom now we're gonna take a look at the other bedroom here again this is a really nice stage uh, bedroom as you can see here they have the guitar if your kid will be a musician in the future that's my car there 
and look at this. So that's our second Dari bedroom. They also have this um, walk-in closet. Look at this. If you have 4,000 square feet of house, you better have walk-in closets for your secondary bedrooms. So that's your secondary bedrooms, guys. Really, really large. Now we're going to check out this secondary bathroom here. There's another one, aside from the one that we've seen a while ago. This one has its own sink, of course. Uh, I think this one is for the bedroom that we just saw a while ago. That one ha uh, is has its own bathroom here. So they chose a darker floor here. I would choose a lighter color just to make it more larger. In, and I like that they've used a walk-in shower rather than a bathtub here because not a lot of people use this bathtub nowadays unless you're into it. So I think we've covered everything here on this area. That's the master. We have three bedrooms there. One, two, and three. And then two full baths for your secondary bedrooms. Let's check out the downstairs area. Hello. Hey. The lowest level before we go to the top because the top is the max, the climax here. Look at this house. They stage it as if there's a lot of musicians on this house, right? We've seen a lot of um, artwork for musicians. We're now going to the lowest level here. Wow. W O W. Wow. See how they said work hard? If you work hard and invest smart, you will be able to achieve this kind of home, guys. So if you go to the left, to the right, sorry, you have this massive, massive storage area. This is another area where you can hide from your kids if they are annoying. Just kidding. Um, or hide from your guests if you don't want to show from this I think is the garage look at the garage this is a huge garage as we said a while ago it's a three car garage and they have this um, entrance here right they have the side entrance right that's your AC so this is nice because you have your uh, entrance there, side entrance for your garage. So I just wanted to take a look at what options you have so far. And this one, I don't know what this is, but oh, this is your AC system there. Hello. And then we're going to see this one. Wow. Look at the design. Looks like a lot of people are artists here. But I also like this um, chair here. This is where you wanted to do your karaoke nights. And the reason why is because it is very private. You know what I would do is put a door there. Right, I'll put a door there so that I can close it and be able to enjoy music better. But before we go to the bedroom here on this floor, I just wanted to spend one more time how beautiful the artworks are here. And your kids can actually do their homework here. See if we have three kids. And we're going to take a look at the backyard. So 
So this is your backyard. They said that you can actually upgrade this between twenty and forty thousand um, dollars if you want a larger lot. But this is the uh, facade at the back. That's your AC unit, right? So I think you can still put a really small swimming pool area here. Not a lot of space, but still doable. Right? And then you can put like a uh, patio roof there so that you have some shades. But I think you can definitely put a small pool here for this size. All right, let's go back inside. Hello. And look at this. Here, we're gonna go now on the secondary bedroom. It looks like you're in a hotel here, guys. I would design this really good if I have this kind of bedroom. It smells good as well. Look at this. You have your seating area there. I think you can put like a, this is probably a king size bed here. And you still have this open space here. That's how huge this bedroom, I mean, yeah, this bedroom is. And we are taking a look now at the double sink here. Hello. All right, you have a half toilet here and we have a huge closet here right this is a really nice secondary i mean sorry bedroom for this floor here all right so we're now getting out of the lowest level bedroom again this is a four-story home that's why it's taking us a lot of time but i wanted to make sure i show you everything guys because this is a new community by Pulte home so really nice all right guys so we're now entering going back on the upper level so that we can check the upper floor this is the one that i told you a while ago the climax because not a, a, let me see first this view guys look at the mountain views there and the reason why i want this to show us the last is because it's not common right now to have a view like this where you can access the roof right and here we go this is a nice area guys look at the view and that is the Las Vegas Strip that's the Las Vegas Strip guys And you have your bar barbecue here. You know, during the night, you can talk about dreams and everything so that you have the time to plan for things while you are enjoying the night here on your rooftop. You, got, you can have some drinks here, red wine, whatever you want. It's a nice area. And you have the view of the entire city. I think this during the night is literally lit because of the lighting. Because I've seen like the Las Vegas Strip and the surrounding community during the night. And the lights are pretty good. So that's your top story. It's pretty nice to have that kind of story. We're now going back inside the house. And as you can see, the railing there is fantastic. You know what I noticed about these stairs? They are also wider than usual. Because some of the stairs I've seen in some model homes are pretty narrow, but these ones are pretty 
huge or wider. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tour and really appreciate it. If you can comment down below, what do you think of this model home here in Southwest area, which is Dalamar by Paul T. Homes. And again, I appreciate you guys that are commenting on this channel and I appreciate that you are actively participating in making sure, providing the feedback so that I can improve the channel and also, please don't forget to subscribe because once you subscribe, you won't miss any of the videos that I'll be featuring in the future. And also, my plan is to tour the United States and feature homes from other states as well. So stay tuned on that. And also, if I travel around the globe, I will also be featuring a lot of the homes outside of the U.S. So please stay tuned on that one as well. So... Please comment down below, what do you think of this home? Is this something that you might be interested in buying or any designs that you like on this home? Really appreciate any feedback, guys. Until next time, have a wonderful day.